Hello everybody, this is Vincent from Affiliate Team.io and uh, this video is about um, the CJ plugin from Affiliate Theme. So um, in order to install the theme, uh, we once again have to go um, to our import tab here. Um, and if you click the import button, you will be directed to this page where you can um, download here with this button the um, plugin you need. So in our case, um, it will be the CJ Affiliate API. So just generally, um, CJ stands for Commission Junction, and this is like, an, if I'm not mistaken, the biggest or one of the biggest international affiliate networks. Um, so this is again something like if, if you're operating on an international market, should or might be relevant for you. So you can download the the, uh, the um, plugin right here. I already did this. So after you downloaded the zip file, you go to plugins. Um, you go to add new. You click upload plugin. Just drag and drop the file here. Click install now. And if the process is over, you just click activate. This is very important. If you don't activate the plugin, it's not going to work. So as I already installed and up, uploaded and installed um, the plugin, I'm going to the installed plugins and I will just activate it. So after the theme was, uh, excuse me, the plugin was activated and installed, we're going to import and we're going to see a new link which is called CJ Affiliate. So let's just click it. Um, and here we have, again, a similar structure to all the other affiliate networks that you can use with the affiliate theme IO. First of all, you will have to identify yourself with your uh, existing CJ affiliate account. So you have to be a partner to use this. Um, so um, here again, you have uh, your developer key, website ID and um, product status. Uh, this information, once again, um, has to come from your account. So in order to uh, to, to find this and uh, not to get confused, you can um, search in our um, in our documentation. So um, just type in CJ Affiliate and you will be directed to this page here. And um, it explains in detail where exactly to find um, your login data that you uh, have to have in order to import products from CJ Affiliate. So um, just keep in mind, this is like a great help to find this information. And after you copy and paste it to the um, settings section here, you still have something, um, some other options to define. First of all, you can define if you want the description of the product to be imported or not. So this means um, if there is already a description existing for the product inside the CJ affiliate network, it will be copied to your website so maybe the product is already properly described and you don't want to like write everything again by yourself you can just click import product description especially if you import a lot of products this might be sensible you, you can do it you don't have to uh, and again you can as with uh, any other plugin we offer you can define the update process settings so just define what should be regularly updated and what should not be updated. So you can de again define the EAN, so this is a, like the product number, the price, and the URL. I will just keep it um, as updated for now. So next, next let's go to the search tab over here. So um, here there are actually a bit more options than uh, with the other plugins because CJ Affiliate is an affiliate network. So it's sort of an intermediate institution between you and uh, actual sellers. So for example, here we have something like ebooks.com. They go to CJ Affiliate, um, um, import their products to CJ Affiliate, and you can once again import your products from CJ Affiliate that come from ebooks.com, for example. So this is why you can also choose the shop here. So um, whatever partner you might have, like you have to apply for this inside CJ Affiliate. Like if you have, for example, the eBooks partner, you can just choose eBooks, uh, um, type in uh, a name uh, of a book in that case. And you can also define uh, other options like products per page regarding here the results. 
um, uh, how it should be sorted. Like if you, if you just have a very general term here, um, I don't know, I will just write something uh, random here. I think we will have a lot of results for this. You will see like, of course, there are plenty of books about capitalism and you might just want to have one specific product. Then you can like say, okay, I want to have this and that amount of products displayed here. Shouldn't be more expensive than, I don't know, 15 euros uh, and so on and so forth. So this gives, gives you the option to filter um, your product results. So let's move on to the API log. So currently there's nothing in our API log because we didn't import any product to our system or did anything with the CJ affiliate plugin. Uh, but uh, generally the API log um, records every event uh, and this lets you track like any particular event that might happen. So this means if a product is imported or if a product is updated, for example, and uh, actually this shows just as it says here, the last uh, 200 ent entries. And if you get confused about this, um, you can just delete the log manually here, but like just keep it usually because like if something weird happens to a product, you for example, update it and you wonder like, why is the image gone or whatever, you can just check the log here and like it will give you a hint maybe uh, where, where this problem comes from. So next let's take a look at the um, buy tab. So um, here again, um, you can um, define how the buy button for products that were imported from CJ Affiliate um, should look like, or um, to be more specific, what text inside the button should be displayed. So again, you have the sh short and the long version. So on in some parts of the theme, you have uh, like the short version of the button if there's not a lot of space. And then you have again the big button, for example, um, on the product page or on a comparison table, depends on like how much space there is. Uh, and you can just um, change the text here. So maybe you want to say it buy now at CJ Affiliate. Um, so this is actually like if you say percentage and S for shop, um, the theme will have the shop name as an output or the, 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 the um, name of the affiliate partner will be displayed or of the shop. So um, here it will just say like um, if, if we see it uh, um, in the front end, it will just say buy now at CJ Affiliate so that you can somewhat distinguish the buttons so that it says buy now at Amazon, buy now at eBay, buy now at CJ Affiliate. So like the customer knows where the link is going. Last but not least, we have the help tab. So um, similar to um, all the other um, plugins we have, if you click the help link, you will just arrive at our documentation where you can, for example, find the information um, about the CJ affiliate plugin. If you didn't understand one part we discussed, or if you want to know where to get your login data from CJ affiliate, just check out this link here. So it will just uh, direct you to the documentation. So one last information for you um, about importing products with the CJ affiliate plugin. So um, in this video, we discussed um, all the different options you have here with the plugin, uh, but we didn't really deal with uh, the import options themselves. So actually the import options are over here. There are two different ways to import a product um, to your website. First of all, there's the um, import option and there's the quick import option. Please take a look at um, our um, Amazon um, plug-in video that you can find in our documentation and or on our uh, YouTube channel. Um, there I des uh, describe in detail how um, the functions be be behind those two buttons work. So just for you no to know briefly, like with the import button, you have more options. Um, so you can define which taxonomy should be applied for the product, which uh, images you want to import, what the title of the product should be. The quick import just rapidly puts um, the product into your system or imports it to your system. Um, so this is basically an option if you want to import, for example, a lot of products and you don't want to deal with all the details or you might want to do this later on. So just for you to know, please once again, take a look at um, the Amazon plugin video.